Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will talk about linear and nonlinear systems. Fine. So, when can we say a system is a linear system? So, a system that follows the principle of homogeneity and superposition is classified as linear system. Okay. Whereas a system that does, does not follow these principles or that does not adhere to these principles is considered as a non-linear system. Hope it is clear to you. Now you have to understand what is homogeneity property and what is a superposition property. So let's discuss about the homogeneity property first. Okay, so basically I have the system. So what homogeneity property says? So if you apply x of n to this system and the output will be y of n. So if you apply a into x of n to the same system, then the output should be what a into y of n. Okay then we can say a system follows a homogeneity property understood so the homogeneity property states that when an input x of n is applied to a system and it produces y of n as an output so it must produce an output a into y of n for an input a into x of n this is what the homogeneity property hope it is clear to you now the next property that you should know is the superposition property. So what a superposition property says? So suppose I have this system, I'm applying what x1 of n. So I got the output y1 of n. Okay. If I apply x2 of n, I will get output y2 of n. Okay. And to the same system, if I apply this signals combinedly means x1 of n and x2 of n. Okay. I am sending it to the adder. So I got here x1 of n plus x2 of n. Okay. And I am going to apply this to this system. So in this case, what will be the output? So when you are applying x1 of n, what was the output? y1 of n, right? And when you are applying x2 of n, what was the output? y2 of n. So here also you will get this as an output. Hope you understand, right? So basically the superposition property states that when inputs x1 of n and x2 of n is applied to a system, and produces an output y of y1 of n for x1 of n and y2 of n for x2 of n. So it must produce an output y1 of n plus y2 of n for an input x1 of n plus x2 of n. This is what a superposition property. So hope this example is clear to you. Fine. Now let's move to the next. Okay. Let's see the next part. So basically you can say a system is what linear if an arbitrary input x1 of n produces an output y of y1 of n and an arbitrary input x2 of n produces an output y2 of n. Then the weighted sum of inputs which is basically a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n where a1 and a2 is what constants produces an output a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n which is basically what sum of weighted outputs. So hope this much is clear to you. This is a definition based on that last two properties just now we have covered right. Now to understand this better let's go further. So a relaxed system H is linear if if transform of a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n okay this is equal to what a1 
into transform of x1 of n plus a2 into transform of x2 of n clear for any for any arbitrary input sequence sequences x1 of n and x2 of n and for any arbitrary constants constants a1 and a2 so this is a condition for linearity fine so in simpler term a system is linear if the output due to weighted sum of inputs is equal to the weighted sum of outputs so if it is not clear when we will solve the examples it will be clear to you cluster clear to you fine don't worry about that if you are aware about the superposition property then it is easy for you to solve the numerical based on linearity fine let's see the diagrammatic approach what i am trying to say here so basically first we have to sum up the inputs and then apply to a system so suppose here the input is what x1 of n and another input is what x2 of n this is a constant multiplier having constant a1 and having constant a2 so what you will get here a1 into x1 of n what you will get here a2 into x2 of n so when you sum up what you will get a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n right and this you are applying to a system h then what will be the output in this case simple transform of this complete right so a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n right so this is one case where we combinedly applied this to inputs to this system then you got this now now in the second case we are going to apply this signals individually to the system and at last we are going to sum up the responses so this is system h system h okay i'm going to apply x1 of n here and x2 of n here so what will be the output here it will be what transform of x1 of n transform of x1 of n right and here it will be transform of x2 of n right now we have with this constant multiplier a1 a2 so here what you will get a1 into transform of x1 of n okay here you will get a2 into transform of x2 of n fine so when you sum up this what will be the result a1 into transform of x1 of n plus a2 into transform of x2 of n clear so these two cases are clear fine so when you can say that the system is this system h is linear system whenever if this expression is equal to this expression fine then you can say like the system is what linear okay and if it is not equal then it is what a non linear system non linear system fine so this is what you should know about the basic of linear and non linear system fine so basically you should know the superposition property that's all and when we will solve the numericals it will be clear to you don't worry we are going to solve at least 4 5 numerical based on this linearity so the concept will be cluster clear to you
so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel